Often in medicine, we focus so much on what is going wrong that we forget to talk about what is actually normal. In this video, I wanna share with you what a normal blood pressure is and what you should be aiming for. If you're new here, my name is Khalid. I'm a family doctor from London. Let's dive straight in. So the CDC in America says a normal blood pressure is below 120 over 80, but that figure doesn't quite paint a full picture. You see, blood pressure has ranges. You've got low blood pressure, normal blood pressure, and high blood pressure. The definition I like much better and the one that I use in clinical practice is by the NHS the National Health Service in the UK. They say an ideal blood pressure is below 120 over 80, but above 90 over 60. Because as well as high blood pressure, there are people who've got low blood pressure, and sometimes they will also have symptoms like dizziness, like lethargy. And while we're treating high blood pressure, we can sometimes accidentally cause low blood pressure with the medications we give. That's why monitoring of the medication is so important, and that's why sometimes we take people off one tablet and then we get the blood pressure in the range. The caveat to all of this is that blood pressure is a very fluid thing. It depends on your genetics, lifestyle factors, environmental factors, and what you're doing during the day. On a day that you're very stressed, your blood pressure may be higher compared to a day that you're chilling out on the beach or spa. So a one-off blood pressure does not necessarily mean you have high blood pressure or normal blood pressure. As a doctor, I tend to be less worried about a one-off borderline blood pressure in clinic setting, mainly because people have things like white coat syndrome, which means their blood pressure goes up when they come to see the doctor, or they may be rushing that day to get to the doctor's appointment. What I think is far more accurate is to keep a home diary of your blood pressure across multiple days and different times. Two weeks is usually a good range. I would often send my patients away to do that and then when they come back we would sit down together and go through the average blood pressure over that period. And this gives us a far more accurate idea of what your blood pressure is at home. So if you're ever going to see a doctor because you're worried about your blood pressure, try and bring in some readings from home so that we can help you make a better decision about your blood pressure. And so the ideal blood pressure for your systolic, which is the top number should be 90 to 120 and the diastolic which is the bottom number should be 60 to 80 and so if your reading is between that range fantastic you're doing a great job keep it up and if you're a little bit out of that range it's not all doom and gloom speak to your family doctor and monitor your blood pressure at home you can get one of those home monitors this is the one i use when i do home visits there's lots of different versions and a simple model like this should be absolutely fine i'll leave a link in the description in case you're interested by the way this is not a sponsored video by omron by any means you can have a blood pressure monitor from lots of other companies and I'm sure they'll be fine. Just make sure they're fully accredited. And if your blood pressure is above 120 over 80, then click on the next video where I will go through the different ranges above that. I'll tell you what is high blood pressure and when you should be more worried. So let me know in the comments what your blood pressure is doing. Hope you have a lovely day. Peace out.